Let's get right to it. Right now, there are only two certifications for machine learning engineers I'd put in my resume. They are the Google Certified Machine Learning Engineer and the Google Certified TensorFlow Developer Certification. Now, the only one I'd take is the machine learning cert because I have no desire to be a TensorFlow developer. The only certifications companies care about are those from big tech. For example, companies care about Microsoft certs, Amazon certs, and Google certs. There are a few others, but I'd stick to those certifications from the big three when you get started. These are often used as filters by recruiters. Now, don't get these confused with those worthless certificates of completion. No one cares about those. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'll put a link below to the video on certifications versus completion certificates. Here's something you need to know about certifications. All of them are vendor specific. Let's look at an example. Here's a question taken from the Google Certified Machine Learning Engineering exam. During batch training of a neural network, you'll notice that there is an oscillation in the loss. How should you adjust your model to ensure that it converges? This question is a core machine learning question. It's not vendor specific at all. However, let's look at the very next question. This one you couldn't answer without knowing a lot about Google's cloud platform. You're building a linear regression model on BigQuery ML to predict a customer's likelihood of purchasing a company's product. Your model uses the city name variable as a predictive component. In order to train and serve your model, your data must be optimized in columns. You want to prepare your data using the least amount of coding while maintaining the predictable variables. What should you do? Now, if you don't know BigQuery or anything about cloud data fusion, then you'd miss this question. None of it would make any sense to you. Regardless of what the vendor certification is based on, you'll need to learn a good deal about the vendor platform to make it through the exam. It's why I have a complete BigQuery course on LogicBot. Not only that, I have a complete introduction to Google's cloud platform specific to data engineering. All this is done for a reason. If you're planning on taking the Google Certified Machine Learning Engineering exam, it's important you understand the exam is as much about the services on Google's cloud as it is about machine learning. Additionally, I'd highly recommend you not take any certification on any platform without first going through an exam simulator. Now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day. Like, like, subscribe.